the motto to my business is you can never you can never give up because the one yes is always around the corner. I mean, the amount of people that I've heard of that were about to quit and then got something big, it's just the way it kind of works. I have an audience of people that are um, looking to do better, looking to flourish, looking to expand, looking to set themselves on a path that maybe is going to get them closer to their dreams. And I heard mm -hmm. you talk about this recently mm -hmm. uh, because you were on a stage that, and a Q and A, and you talked a little bit about your journey to success and, and um, to success. And it wasn't something that happened to you overnight. So you become a, a major powerhouse already, right? Like you. Obviously, this has been a journey for you for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, for many, many years. Yeah. Did you just suddenly became a superstar or <laughs> can you tell tell us a little bit about your journey? How many failures did you have along the way? How long did I it mean, take you? Way more failures than wins. But in my business, it just takes one, right? It takes one. Yes. One big break. One. Yeah. Or I mean, I had a lot of big breaks. Like Vegas Vacation was the first movie I ever did. Which I was Chase playing one. Audrey Griswold, like the most famous kid in, in America. Um, and it was the fourth installment. So it had already been established. You've got the regular vacation, then you had European vacation, a Christmas vacation, and then us. It's a lot of ups and downs. It's just the way the business is. So, you know, I did Vegas vacation. And I'm like, oh, great, now I'm a star. And then the movie comes out, and it's still like, okay, good. So you have an audition. You have an audition. You have an audition. I'm like, I do? And it just, I sort of had to learn as I, as I went. And... Unfortunately, I guess, or fortunately in my business, you're only as good as your last job. Right. So it's a constant hustle, a constant hustle. And there's, you know, sometimes 40 no's to every one yes. Even Easily. despite success in the past. Even oh, having yeah. been a part of like All Vegas of us. vacation. Like that's, absolutely. There's one thing I've learned, even the, you know, even the Kate Winslet's of the world, even the the um, different actors that have, that have, you know, climbed all the way to the top. Or even like, look at Brendan Fraser. Right? He did a thousand movies, right? Everyone knew him from all these different movies. And then he didn't work for like 10 years, hmm. 15 years. And then all of a sudden he comes out with The Whale. And now he's, and an he's the hottest thing in the world right, right now. But that, that took a lot of, like, no one took him seriously. He was given Tarzan and all these stupid little roles that really weren't fulfilling for him. And then one day he comes back and reinvents himself and he's got The Whale and it's like, boom. And everything goes. And that sort of... I would say the motto to my business is you can never, you can never give up because the one yes is always around the corner. I mean, the amount of people that I've heard of that were about to quit and then got something big, it's just the way it kind of works. So it, it honestly, it takes persistence, hard work and persistence. There's not really a, a secret to it. It's just keep working, keep going, keep yourself in as best shape as you possibly can and just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Which is the same in the game yeah. of business. Exactly. Right? Like you, you're going to fail along the way. And yeah. Most people quit and that's why you exactly. know, it's difficult to, to win in the game. Yeah. But the ones that actually win are the ones that persist. Yeah. So it's no different than your process and your career and your journey. It's always, it's always goes down to hard work. And, and honestly, as any business, like you look out into the marketplace and you're like, okay, well, what, what works? What doesn't work? What, what are they looking for? Or whatever, whatever it is. Same, same with the business, except for you're the product. Right. You know what I mean? So before you got into this big first like role of like being a Griswold, 1995, mm -hmm. was that a, a, a long journey for you to get there, to get that opportunity um, for the first time? To be honest, no. I was really lucky. I, I got a series out of Chicago. I fell into acting, I literally, and I got moved to LA, got a TV series, and the TV series got canceled. <laughs> we did six episodes and I was like, oh, great. And then it got canceled and I was like, oh. And then I had to go out and audition again and then got Vegas vacation. I was like, oh, great. And then I had to go out and audition again. And that's the way it's always been. Up so there'll be, yeah, there'll be two years. I mean, I think I went through a period of almost three years where I didn't book anything. Wow. That was awful. Nothing. So 90 how, auditions how you, a year and nothing. How do you survive those three years, right? If you get used to it, like yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if you get used to a certain lifestyle, like, mm -hmm. and then no job for three years. Well, I think that's why you always hear people in my business, they go broke or whatever it is, because it's it's feast or famine. So I might, like, during Riverdale, I might be like, oh my God, I'm making so much money, but I don't know how long that money has to last me. That money might have to last me and my daughter three years, because I don't know when the next job is coming. So that's sort of, I've learned that over the years of how to like, okay, I need to make 
the money lasts because I don't know how long I need it to last for. Correct. That kind of thing. Just like you know life is going to end, you know that show is going to end. Yeah, exactly. That's, at some point it's going to end. At some point. Which, by the way, seven years is an incredible accomplishment. Yeah, because yeah. Because shows don't really last no. that long. Mm -mm. It's similar to like an NFL career. Right. People don't realize that the average NFL career exactly. is under three years. Right. Because you see the Tom Brady's of the world that right. last 23, but you don't That's see the rare. other 99 point something percent that actually come in and out. Exactly. Of the league, right? Exactly. So it's going to happen like that. So yeah. it's, uh, it's being sane about what the opportunity is at that moment and not, not be crazy about exactly. it. Exactly. Right? Have to. That's good.